asthma and COPD are the pulmonary diseases most frequently encountered in clinical practice. Usually, each disease is caused by a different etiology and shows a different clinical picture and course. However, these two diseases sometime present within the same patient, and it is now recognized that asthma and COPD can coexist as asthma C.O.P.D. Overlap, ACO, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 which is clinically important for several reasons. First, it is estimated that the number of patients with ACO will increase significantly together with the recent increase in numbers of patients with asthma and COPD. Secondly, patients with ACO are prone to experience more frequent and severe exacerbations. For example, Patients who have asthma with a COPD component tend to present with severe hypoxia because of irreversible, fixed airway obstruction and impairment of the alveolar diffusion capacity by emphysematous changes. In contrast, patients with COPD who have an asthma component not only have exertional dyspnea but also develop paroxysmal wheezing or dyspnea at night or in the early morning. Thirdly, evidence-based effective treatments for ACO have yet to be identified. There have been many clinical trials performed in patients with bronchial asthma and in those with COPD, but not in patients with ACO, mainly because no definitive inclusion criteria have been developed for patients with coexisting asthma and COPD. In this review, we describe ACO definitions and recommendations for the diagnosis in recent literature and introduce a part of new definitions and diagnostic criteria of ACO published by the Japanese Respiratory Society. 6.